Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Clueless 8. And this is the end of the day report for September 16, 2014. A powerful, a very powerful reversal day overall in the markets. And as explained uh, very much in detail in last night's video cast, it seems, at least in the near term, the directional bias has been set in place. Please review last night's video cast to understand the continuation of the soap opera that we call the U.S. financial markets. Last night, we talked about possible scenarios. And uh, tonight, we're going to quickly go over the same charts and show how those particular scenarios, uh, a particular um, options that we had, which way the directional bias option that we had in the markets, how they resolved themselves. So saying all that, let's hit the charts fast. Powerful uh, reversal day, what we call a breath trust, trust, I can never say that word, where we have uh, a combination of massive institutional short squeeze coupled with uh, fresh money entering the markets for a confluence of reasons. We had uh, number one, and by the way, all these were highlighted and posted in real time, tweeted live in the real time Twitter live feed. I encourage every single uh, paid real time member to monitor the live feed as it's a um, it, it, it's a, it, it's a uh, uh, I'm missing the word here. It's been a long day. Um, invaluable tool for a better choice of words, or indispensable tool, I should say, for traders to follow. As breaking news, inflection points in the market, technical changes um, in the charts, both in stocks and the equities and the indices, are put in real time in those tweets okay so here we have a situation where we explained last night that this could have had two scenarios one we would have a breakdown towards this side to what's coming down to uh, um, a support level around 17,700 17,800 or this would be a consolidation flag which would break out was well, the latter that happened at this point, we touched. Um, we look at it. Um, you know, if you if you look at it very carefully, it just touched uh, and 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 found uh, minor resistance here at the upper Bollinger. We have an acceleration band here up at 17,300. Let's see if we can get there, or whether we fall back into this channel and retest the 50 and the 34, uh, which would feel um, rough for uh, for for uh, heavily in, uh, uh, invested longs. Uh, because at that point we would be down about 131 and 110, like about 240 points or so, um, to retest these numbers. And of course, if we fail, uh, we should come and retest the lower end of this acceleration band, which is around 16,800. So those are the optional scenarios in place. Now let's look for pattern symmetries that uh, might give us some clues, quote unquote, as to what's going on. So if we look at this particular thing that I keep on highlighting, let me get my drawing tool here, um, and these type of uh, big um, reversal thrust that we get uh, and what has happened after that, I would follow the February pattern. And in the February pattern, like I've showed before, it goes like this, and then we have a pullback, uh, and then we make a new high. And then it pulls back again, and it continues on. So if you look at that, and if we follow the February pattern, then we are seeing a similar type of move where we are now breaking up so at this point uh, we are uh, we did I believe we did make a new high right I don't really keep track of the Dow that much uh, the high was 17,167 and we went to 17,167 hey we made a new high today bingo right so uh, so bottom line is at this point, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we uh, continue, you know, the continuation pattern stays and we go up a little bit more, probably to about 17,300. So that's it for the Dow, all right? So it's basically the February pattern playing out, 
and a little bit higher and then we and then we have a sharp pullback uh, and uh, and then we see what we do all right so that's about that's that's the most I can say at this point but whatever was explained in last night's video cast um, was uh, very much in action today and that is what VAS or value added service uh, is all about let's take a quick look at uh, the S&P 500 and uh, <clears throat> let me look at the daily and we see a similar pattern here um, it's these these pattern symmetries are playing themselves the S&P 500 actually had a very powerful I mean these type of candles are not to be you know have, have to be respected you know they cannot be ignored uh, you know this is this is a consolidation flag and it's picture perfect I explained this last night also you have a consolidation flag here after a big move pulls back and now it's breaking out this particular uh, candle um, is is uh, is and if you notice to see you know what has happened in previous times when we have had this type of uh, can uh, uh, large uh, candles you're going to see that uh, from the lows it's got a continuation pattern and again every time we've had this type of uh, this size of a candle we have generally tended to move up a little bit more so in this particular case if I have mentioned before we are possibly looking at around 2016 uh, or thereabouts before we make an intermediate top so we'll have yet to see but uh, again it's um, this was uh, uh, this was explained last night and let's take a shorter term chart the 60 minute chart and see what's going on and the 60 minute chart again we found some resistance here at the excel upper acceleration band upper Bollinger and looks like the you know a minor uh, pullback uh, from this level now tomorrow being the Fed day uh, and at 2 p.m. I really wouldn't be betting uh, one with other too much I do not think in my strongest opinion that we're gonna have a trend change uh, tomorrow if we do we'll see what we do about that uh, we could have a we could have a pullback there's no question about it and I wouldn't be surprised if we pull back here and test the 1992 level or even come down towards the 1988 level that's about 11 S&P points roughly about 66 uh, Dow points and uh, I wouldn't be you know I would be surprised if we get there um, but a complete breakdown below the 34 uh, would mean that we are down to the 1976 level and at that point we're in trouble uh, trouble meaning that we wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if we come down and test the 1951 and uh, and lower levels and that would be a complete reversal of today's uh, phenomenal uh, move that we uh, that we're seeing here so saying all that let's take a, a longer term chart and look to find some patterns as to what's going on so this is what I see going on. Um, sorry, it's been a long day, so I'm a little bit tired. Um, this is this is a February pattern in play. So this is what happened in February. We pulled back and then we kind of zigzagged around, made a high. So if that's the case, as I shown before, then that's what exactly what we're doing. Now we're breaking out here, and we could very well go as high as uh, about 2020 or 2030 around that level uh, before we make a. Uh, short-term top and I believe that could very well occur by the time uh, Alibaba rolls in on the at the end of the week on Friday so we could have a short-term top on Friday as we go into the latter part of the month so that's what I see let's take a uh, let's move on to the next video uh, video cast and look at the Russell the Nasdaq composite and uh, I'll take a quick look at the uh, VIX and the RVX and uh, wrap up tonight's video cast. I'll put the static charts out there for everyone to see the stocks that I'm trading uh, and again keep the numbers a uh, uh, number of stocks you're trading uh, between you know between one and three or one and four don't go overboard don't take massive position this is an extremely powerful dangerous and volatile market events can whipsaw markets around like crazy it's being totally manipulated by the hedge funds and the algos and the HFT that's my personal opinion and all kinds of extraneous news events are rally you know are, are, are basically shaking the market right left and center um, so again that's just the way it is and we have to live within the realms of what's you know the cards that are handed to us <laughs>